Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you what you could expect from SAS Business Class on their A330. This is flight SK944 from Chicago O'Hare to Copenhagen. Uh, A330 here. As you can see the business class is a 1 2 1 configuration with staggered, it's kind of got staggered rows. So every other window seat is going to be aisle closer to the aisle, which I had here, a, a seat closer to the aisle. And then uh, this is the odd row 7A. The even seats are going to be flush to the window as far as the uh, window seats go. So as you can see here, you do have an amenity kit that was waiting for for you on your seat, pillow, blankets. So plenty of cushion there. Uh, the seat very, uh, yeah, very familiar to the uh, seat Delta uses on the 760, 767-400 uh, on the newer uh, Delta cabinets. Is that ramp? It's very familiar on that. Very familiar with that ramp uh, leading up to the footwell there. But to the left side, you've got your seat controls here. A little lamp there. You've got a water stored back there that was already at the seat got the SAS headphones which were decent here you've got some more uh, light controls here below there plug for the headphones USB port charging port yeah I find the seat very functional yeah very nice uh, seat design I love the color uh, color scheme too here you do have some seat controls as well as light unfortunately it is easy to bump that seat control there and hit a, hit turn your light on accidentally as you can see, the tray table comes out here, extends out with the button. So again, pretty, I really do like the color scheme in this cabin uh, for SAS. Uh, although not easy to get out of there if you have if you have uh, dinner on that uh, tray table, unfortunately. Uh, as you can see here on the other side, now you do have this uh, armrest here, which let's see if I can ever get it, uh, that does, that does go down so it gives you a little more space in the lay flat position again the seat 7a I was in the odd seats on the uh, on the window sides yeah they are closer to the aisle no individual air vents um, also no pre departure beverages or menus so keep that in mind too but again this this was a flight I flew back in uh, on, set, on uh, February the 11th so as far as the recline goes on the seat um, yeah, I found I actually was able to sleep fairly well on this. The footwell isn't really that narrow. Um, you know, I'm five foot eleven, so I had no trouble sleeping on this. But again, on the left side, it is easy to bang accidentally the seat controls or the uh, lights above. So I will come back after the takeoff and we'll talk about the rest of this flight shortly. Let's take a look at the bathroom on the A330. Um, yeah, nice touch with the plant there. Now the color is not so sterile. Um, you do have to your left side here, right under the mirror. Got some uh, wipes there, and I believe some lotion there with the yellow cap. You do have a charging outlet and a place there, air nozzle. Oddly enough, you have an air nozzle there, and you do have a window. Nice to see that in the A330, looking out at the Turkish Airlines uh, plane down the way there. But yeah, the bathroom not so bad with the window. It does. I feel like that always gives it 
gives the illusion of more space in the bathroom having the window as far as the dinner service goes you start it off with a beverage service i have the apple must and uh, cashews right there apple must is a must anytime you fly sas by the way as far as dinner we had the choice of pasta beef or chicken i chose the pasta also you got a cheese plate there with some uh, jam some crackers bread a dessert there kind of a chocolate mousse up top there and there's the pasta uh, i tell you the food was really good on sas this is my first sas flight there and the little salad to the left there was really good as well after that I had a coffee tea service i chose some uh, chestnut tea and the breakfast service uh, essentially have meat and cheese fruit yogurt and bread available so no choice there that was what was on offer and I will let you kind of go through the in-flight entertainment system so you can kind of see what how it operates and what kind of uh, movies and so forth they had on uh, display here. And I'll talk about the Wi-Fi here shortly. Wi-Fi. Uh, now, the nice thing about being in uh, business class, Wi-Fi was free for business class and uh, Euro bonus diamond and gold members. Uh, so you can access that for free there. Kind of go as you can see it says there. So essentially, you hit connect to Wi-Fi. Then you put in your booking reference if you're uh, sitting in business class. Or you just use your Euro bonus login if you're a diamond uh, or a gold uh, member for Euro, the Euro bonus uh, program there. So it's fairly simple there. Um, if you want to pay, that's how much it's going to cost you. And the local currency, 149 uh, kronas, it equals $19. So it's about almost an eight hour flight. Yeah, it could be worth it. But as far as my final thoughts on this flight, I was really impressed with SAS. Again, this was my first time flying with them. Yeah, the crew was really good. Really good. Good banter. Uh, good sense of humor. Uh, really welcoming uh, crew. I thought the food was really good. Yeah, I really didn't expect that. Uh, but yeah, the food was really good. And a nice thing, having free Wi-Fi, being in business class, um, just being a business class passenger, or if you have uh, the top tier status, you're a bonus diamond or gold uh, with SAS with their program. Um, 
again, uh, no pre-departure beverages, no menus were handed out. So just you just had the choices that I mentioned before. Um, you did have amenity kits, so that's a, a positive. Uh, no individual air nozzles on the aircraft, but uh, again, I think the cabin is really nice. I love the finish and the, uh, the color scheme as well as the functionality of the seat. Again, my only knock on the seat is that the seat and light controls to your left, um, again, easy to hit, easy to accidentally. I hit that a few times, hit, hitting the light above a few times accidentally. So other than that, a really positive experience on SAS. Uh, in their business class on their A330 on SK944 from Chicago O'Hare to Copenhagen. As always, I appreciate you watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share this with a friend. I'll see you next time.